Lack of one or more part models is a frequent showstopper in design simulation projects, but often this problem can be overcome by using our datasheet model builder to create models of passives, active discretes, and ICs, as well as other types of components. These generated models not only have the desired performance characteristics, they also encapsulate stress monitoring based on the datasheet's absolute maximum ratings tables. Let's go ahead and start creating a datasheet based model. We have a test fixture circuit that needs an op amp, and we would like to characterize the on semiconductor op amp on the right. To begin the process, I will open the datasheet model builder. Notice the list of devices that's supported. The datasheet model builder supports many different part types, including several passives, transistors, linear regulators, just to name a few, and of course, op amps. To start creating our op amp model, we will click the 5 pin op amp. For this new model, we will start by filling out the part number. The op amp we're trying to characterize is the NCV7101. We can also add some comments here describing where we got the information for this part. We can just copy and paste from the datasheet directly into the datasheet model builder information like the publication number and date. This helps us, as well as anyone else that looks at this model in the future, to know where this information came from. Next, we'll go to the maximum ratings table, and in this case, it's pretty simple. We'll just put in the 10 volt supply voltage limit and the input voltage maximum of 10 volts. Then we'll scroll down and get the other characteristics, such as the large signal gain, and we'll put in the values. 16 kilovolts per volt for the minimum, and then the typical is 50 kilovolts per volt. Scrolling down further, we can find the gain bandwidth and we see that the data sheet specifies 0.5 MHz as the minimum, 1 MHz typical, 3 MHz for the maximum. Our default is 1 MHz, so we don't have to change that. Now we've entered one AC characteristic and one DC characteristic. Let's jump ahead in the process. We have found the rest of the pertinent data on the data sheet. For instance, we have found the slew rate specified between 0.7 meg and 3 meg volts per second. We have a phase margin of 60 degrees. And if we look at the short circuit current and delta V supply, two parameters which are related, the data sheet showed plus and minus 5 volts, a 10 volt differential for the delta V supply, and 50 to 140 milliamps for the short circuit current. With all of this information now specified in the builder, we can go ahead and save the model. One of the features of the datasheet model builder is that it will preserve the parameters that have a min and max value and give them statistical distributions. We can choose whether it's normal or uniform, and those will be used in the future for Monte Carlo and other statistical analysis methods. So now that we've saved the component, it's going to show up in our My Components list we can find that part and place it in the schematic, and then we can begin doing our testing on that part.